Oh. Good evening and welcome to it. This is yet another episode of Chess Noir. My name is ADB. Look, coming back at you with another update on the third. Yes, of course. Is it the third day? Fourth day of the Cape Town Chess Masters Challenge. My goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I want to say beautiful things are happening, but I don't know if it's beautiful for everyone. But it's just some things happening, and it's things, man. Oh. Round six, round seven was played today. Well, it's actually, round seven and round eight was played today in the uh, what do we call it? What, what do we what do we call it? In the advanced section, seven and eight uh, was played, and then the advanced. Uh, sorry, sorry, in the master's section. I'm so like seriously, what just happened? All right, let me just come out straight. I'm 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 this. I don't want to say disappointed, but I can't say any. But I, I was expecting that Kajama Zibugo would be taking this thing. Everything was his now. Since he couldn't even stop, he couldn't be stopped by Charlton, he couldn't be stopped by uh Jan. And then he gets stopped by Craig. I mean, no, no, not even Craig. Oh my goodness. By uh, by Kenneth Wordenberg. Kenny, my goodness. Yo, yo. And obviously, this is no offense to Kenny, but obviously, Kenny is one of the senior players. He's been here for a while. And we're expecting that it's the juniors' time now. And we thought the juniors were in full control. So, yeah, there it is. In round seven, you saw, <laughs> or maybe it's the it's the family prep. We can just call it a, a family prep. You see what I mean? Because in round seven, Kanye played um, Craig Willenbeck, and they played a draw. And then in round eight, he comes and he plays Kenneth Willenbeck, and he loses from him. So this is probably Craig doing corrections through Kenneth. Craig Willenbeck doing, doing corrections through Kenneth Willenbeck. But anyways, here for the updates. The updates for today. My name is AD P Life. I haven't said it already. This is the updates for the Masters Challenge, Masters section for the what for the Cape Town uh, Chess Masters uh, Championship. In board one, in round seven, we saw Kanye Mazibugo drawing with Craig Willenbeck. And we saw in board two, Jan Kasten. Winning against the supreme, the one and only Watu Kobe. Yeah, no, I, I don't like. Anyways, we all know already. The boy is confirmed to be somewhere at the top. That's Jan Kasten for you. Signing himself up to, uh, I'm sure the Olympiad or whatever. <laughs> next year, next year's Olympiad team. But this year's Olympiad team. By beating what to say in this round, I'm sure he's definitely making it to that um to that team. And in board three, we saw Calvin Klassen drawing with Margov Matfei. Yeah, make make what you make what you may of it. And then uh, Charlton Miasta wins against Regan Palmer. See uh, with the better junior of the two. And then Tavin ne, Nevin Tyler playing a draw against Edward Bordhitter. And Kenny will back. But Kenny is proving it. Listen, listen to this. So Kenny won against Fidel Master Charles de Villiers. Which makes you think that maybe again his win in the next round against Kanye is not such so much a fluke or anything like that. <sighs> Kenny Willenberg. Oh my god. I hear that he's coming. He comes from the time of Bumabusela and all of that. They used to play together and all so. Yeah, so maybe all this makes sense. But we haven't been paying attention to any, many of the tournaments that he's been participating in. But we know that he's a coach. And obviously you can't be a coach if you don't know what you're talking about. So now he's here to prove himself. He proves that he knows what he's talking about. That is Kenny Willenbeck. Ken Will. Kenneth Willenbeck for you. Kenny. All right. And then in board um, two, four, six. But seven, it is James Denham, the boomer remover, still failing to remove anything. Now losing to Miasta Teziano. And then there's Cherwin Kainschmidt losing to Ethan Samuels. The Brookwood dude. And then it's uh, a draw between Jorah Sujay and Waylon Brander. And that is the seven or the nine boards that are on display. 
And that's the ones we choose to focus on as we do our updates. But now we're going to go quickly to the updates on the next round, on, <clears throat> on the next round, which is round eight, which saw a heartbroken me. Me heartbroken. So heartbroken I am. These don't sound like a gem no more. Oh. No. But anyways, Jan Kasten, consistent. You see when we talk about consistent performances. That's what makes a top player. Consistency. Jan Kasten. Keeping up with his <laughs> now stand now known standard wins against um, uh, Craig Willenberg, the better Willenberg. We always thought, but we'll see now in the performance and the final results which Willenberg comes out at the top above all the Willenbergs. So, yep, Jan Kasten still proves himself to be the top dog in this section. Who wins against um, uh, he wins against Craig Willenberg. Um, giving himself how many points? Is that now seven points? Yes, because he has two draws. And then now in for two, Kenneth Willenberg wins against Kanya Mazibu. Go. Whoa. So it's a Kennedy Master CM versus CM, and this CM proves to be the better CM. Well, then to my, to Willenberg. And in for three, Charlton Miaster loses to. A legendary Calvin Klassen. You see, well, this is what we want to see. There's people that have been at the top coming back from some time and proving themselves every now and then and saying, hey, we still got this. We still no chance. We still do this. I am the zone 4.5 champion. Say what you're going to say. So that's what it is. <laughs> so yeah, so Calvin Klassen wins um, against Charlton Miasto, which I'm, I'm still, I still say. But with all these youngsters coming up, they are at where they are because of players like Calvin Class. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, um, uh, Calvin Class and uh, you want to go and say you, um, must, uh, Ruben, obviously, Salim, he's in the tournament, but his performance is at the bottom there. Well, we can't speak of it, but you see his product. But, anyways, we go on to what do Kobese International Master with the Kobese again wins on board four. He wins against uh, Edward Potkider and Rogov Matfei wins against the Broken Waguta and Ethan Samuels draws against uh, draws with Nevin Tyler. Taziano loses to the much senior Shabera, Shabir Hussein Baudin. And Regan loses to Jara Sujay. Who is Jara Sujay's coach? I want to know. And obviously, there's a draw at, uh, in, 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 in board nine between Bongole to Naitalo against Waylon Brander. So now I say, I dare say, I say to you that this, what is happening right now in all of these sections, is just some amazing. I mean, it's. Oh. I love what's happening in the advanced section because in the advanced section, we've got a. Junior rising above, I don't know, above the cream or becoming the cream. And then now in this section, we have um, Jan Kassin. It seems like it's similar because Jan Kassin is a 15 year old. probably, and he's dominating now this field because, hey. Because Kanye just lost. But yeah, man, yeah, my poor network helping me now. <laughs> the current standings, the current standings, I will go to the current standing. But before I get to the current, to the current standing, I will show you the next pairing. So the next pairing for round nine of nine, the last round tomorrow, that determines who amongst all of these players gets to keep the 12,000 rands, who gets to keep the uh, 10,000 rands second place. I guess to keep the seven, six, and the five thousand rands, right? So yeah. So in the first board, in board one, we have Kenny Willenberg rated 1873, playing white against Jan Kasten. So Kenny has six points, and Jan Kasten has seven points. And then in board two, we have Matfei Rogov. Still has a chance 
He has five and a half points and he's playing against Canada Master Mazibugo Kanye. We had not seen this. We are thankful for it. Whew. We are thankful. I'm thankful for it. Okay. This is still beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then there's um ah these two always play a draw when they play against each other. So it's, it's international master what you call say against um Peter Master Calvin Klassen on board three. And then there's uh Miaster Shouting on board uh four playing against um Arena Feeder Master Sujay Jara, Jara Sujay. Okay, the boy is rising, eh? And then in board five is Ethan Samuels against Craig Willenbeck. Then you have the other boards which you can check out. But hey, the standings after round eight are as follows. It's <laughs> it's looking like Jan Kasten is on the lead with seven points. A clean lead now with seven points. It stands to lose nothing. And in second place, currently, it is uh, Kenny Willenbeck with six points. And in third place is Mazibugo Kanya with six points. And in fourth place is International Master Watuko Bese, followed by Matfei Rogov with 5.5. And there's uh, Calvin Klassen also with 5.5. And Craig Willenbeck also with 5.5. Wow. Oh. Yeah, no. <clears throat> yeah, in attempts to keep it short, we'll just do it as follows. We saw that... And round six, which was played today in the advanced section. The following happened. In board one, there was a draw between Andrew Sude and Robin Klassen. Both had four points and they're now on four and a half points each. And in board two, Adrian Tival loses to Mangatabang, the rhino, the Bojanalian rhino. And in port three, we see Rowan Nell losing to Salimu Chase. Chase, 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 Chase. Chase is busy chasing all those people. Chase, my goodness. Oh, flip. And then in port four, it's a draw between Tane Russell and um, uh, Flores uh, Batole, Andrew Flores. Uh, Flores Andrew. And then in port five, it is Balente CD. Losing to Cecil O'Heisen. And then obviously there's the other boards at the bottom that you can check out on your own. But my goodness, the standings right now, before we check, we show you who the... <laughs> the standings currently, they put Salimu Chase at number one. In the advanced section. That is the 12-year-old we're talking about. And at number two, it is Mangha Tabang. With, both with five points. So Tabang and... Chase have five points, five points each, and they haven't played each other yet. Hey, then at the, in third place with four and a half points, it is Andrew Sude. And then in um and then in fourth place, also with five and a half point, uh, four and a half points, it is um uh Robin Cla uh, Robin Klassen. In fifth place, oh yeah, there's like two, four, six, eight, and nine players, all at four points. And then three and a half points for Willenberg Rollin. I just have to mention it because we're speaking about the Willenbergs in this tournament. This is the tournament of the Willenbergs. I showed you how many Willenbergs are in this event. So, yeah. So, now, because it's definitely, definitely the case that in the next round, the people, the players who are on five points are going to be playing against each other. And those players are... Ba -ba -ba -bum. In board one, it is... With five points, with a rating of 1373, Chase Salimu playing against the renowned Rhino, the Bujanalian Rhino, the Limpopo based UL player, Tabang Mangha, rated 1598, also with five points. Who will win this? Hey, who is going to who's gonna win this? Hey. Anyway, so yeah, we move on in part two. It is um Andrew Flores against um Andrew Sude. Uh the battle of the Andrews now. 
Both, um, Andrew Sude on four and a half points and Andrew Flores on four points. And in third, um, in the third board in board three with four and a half points, it is, um, Robin Klassen now playing against, um, uh, and Adrian Duval. And in board five, it is with four points, both on four points, it is Nell Rowan playing against Tane Russell. My God. This this tournament has been so exciting. This ton this, this tournament has shown us all so much. And it has been it has been spectacular. I say Kanye Mazibuko still has a chance to prove himself that if he, if he wins tomorrow's game and he, and he finishes on seven points, probably still has a place on the top three. And his performance so far has been maybe one bit short of excellence. But it's been a brilliant performance. And it showed you what he's learned in Italy years ago. Jan Kasten has proven himself that dang, that 2300 is not bought. That 2300 rating is not a favor from someplace, somewhere, from someone. That 2300 has nothing to do with white privilege. <laughs> that 2300, or maybe it does, because I mean, some events you need to afford to play them. But still, though, he came, he picked up that experience from that place, those places, and is bringing it here, and he is a solid player. Maybe it does. Maybe a privileged play paid. But flip, that young person is something, man. And obviously, I'm, 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 it's a really, it's a bit disappointing that Kanye Mazibuko got checkmated. Forget by who, but the fact that he even got checkmated, I'm seeing. <laughs> I still want to know what was going on in that game. The boy got checkmated, my goodness. By Kenny Wollenberg. Kenny, now, honestly, I don't know what's been happening with your game, with your game before this. But you've shown now, like, I, I, this is not the first time you're winning against a strong junior that we've seen. And I think it's the second time that I'm saying, Kenny's busy proving himself that he's a, he's a better coach or a better, you won against um, Faso, and I said the same thing. And I'm sure you won against another junior in previous games, and I said, but, damn. Now I believe the story is that Kenny and Bo, what's his name, uh, Bo Mawusela and all the other, who are age mates, in fact, Apparently, Kenny was one. I believe the story is about Kenny being one of the players who were at the top above all of those players when they were coming up. It's just that he had to cycle at uh, some time back and now focus on family, focus on things, and forget chess. But now he is showing all of that. I believe it. Don't you believe it? No, man. Because, hey, once you've got, once you get this chess skill, it's like riding a bicycle sometimes, right? It just comes back to you. But anyway. This is a beautiful performance from Kenny Wollenbeck. And Craig Wollenbeck is still proving, is still proving, is, is still proving to be the better Wollenbeck, in my opinion. Because his rating says so. But we'll see after tomorrow. I honestly want to keep going on about many things, but I also don't want to bore you up on too many things. But I know, my goodness, that, hey, whatever's happening tomorrow, somebody's going to end up crying. It won't be me, because I'm not in it, to win it or to lose it. But y'all are in it. You got to be in it to win it. You see now, we're not even talking. Hey, anyways, this has been Chess Annoying. Let's just skip it. We're just waiting for the pictures. Like, like, uh, hey, Western Province. Chess Western Province and your photographer. The very good photographer that takes very nice pictures. Please, guys, update your, your Google Drive. We need more pictures in time because now I don't even know what pictures I'm going to put because I'm tired of putting the same old, same old pictures when I'm speaking about the players. So I need new pictures, new photos, please. 
and the players are happy with the environment anyways <clears throat> so i've been i've been uh, <laughs> i've been i've been speak, privately speaking to some of the players trying to find out if they've got some debt on the event if they have anything to say that's negative and they have, if they haven't been treated well and all the players are saying oh no you the environment here is very nice the organizers are very very hospitable and i'm like okay well, and is there anything else any maybe thing that you're not anything that you're not happy with i'm like no bro we're just happy about everything this is this is this is chess in the chess community and i believe it i believe that western province because it's in cape town and cape town as well when you're a chess player you are home because i'm trying to get like i i mean obviously i'm trying to get something exciting to say hey ricardo stop doing this to players or hey burton stop one two three or hey olga whatever <laughs> but uh, all of the players are happy so keep up what you're doing organizers keep treating the players as the vips that they are they are loving it they are happy being there and uh, their friendliness is just something that all players expect it's something that invites players to want to come to your tournament so yeah keep it up vp all love peace <laughs> this is chess and wine